For these types of questions, you need to figure out how many zeros each value has. So how many zeros does each underlined value have? And remember the value is the amount the digit is actually worth. So how many zeros are in that value? So let's try some examples together. Okay, let's look at number one. How many zeros does the value have? Well, first you have to figure out the value. So since this nine is in the hundred millions place, its value is 900 million. So the question is asking, how many zeros does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's look at this one. This two is in the hundred millions place. So the value of the two is 200 million. But the question is actually asking how many zeros? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's look at one more example. So this one is in the 10,000s place. So the value is 10,000. And how many zeros does it have? One, two, three, four. Four zeros. You may begin to see a pattern forming as you do this. So if the underlying digit is nine, well, every number behind it becomes a zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is what we have here. Same thing here, this one. There, after the underlying digit, there are one, two, three, four more digits. So all of those four digits turn to zero, and the value would have four zeros. All right, you try the rest on your own. Good luck.